Trapped, forbidden to leave, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The government watching her every move. The fate of a country held on one 14-year-old girl's dreams. Nadia Comaneci. Everyone knows Nadia Comaneci as the first gymnast to receive a perfect score of a 10 in the Olympics. But many do not know what she endured to become a champion and how her career helped her find her true passion. Nadia Comaneci was born November 12, 1961 in Onesti, Romania. She began her gymnastics career at the age of five, and by the age of six, she was already recruited to attend Bella Caroli's Experimental Gymnastics School. Nadia did not have a conventional childhood. She spent most of her time training, and training was her number one priority. She became the youngest gymnast to win Romanian nationals at the age of nine, she won her first title at the international competition at the age of 10, and she received several silver and gold medals at the European Women's Artistic Gymnastics Championships at the age of 13. Nadia's career skyrocketed when she turned 14. At the age of 14, she gained her first perfect score at the American Cup, became the modern Olympic gymnast to earn the perfect 10 on even bars, won three golds, one silver, one bronze, and won the hero of socialist labor in Romania. In her gymnastics career, Nadia was able to earn a total of nine Olympic medals, a majority being gold, along with several athletes of the year, specialized gymnast awards, and awards dedicated to women. Nadia's success was not exclusively beneficial to herself. It allowed her to pave the way for future gymnasts. The standard of difficulty was raised after the 1976 Olympic Games due to gymnasts like Komenichi that won three gold medals. Nadia's routine was original, difficult, and unprecedented. Her beam routine alone included six flight elements, flick flex, aerials, and an overall increase of skill and risk. The most impact skill-wise was hands down her uneven bar work. Nadia was the first gymnast to perform the first true release move, which consists of a gymnast releasing the bar and re-catching that same bar. Her true release skill is a release to a straddled somersault that she invented herself and is now named after her. The skill is popular among advanced gymnasts today and still ranked with high difficulty. Nadia also has another move named after her that is a dismount from the uneven bars. The skill is a handstand swing to pike release that ends in a half turn to somersault. Similar skills to Komunichi were performed by the next three gold medalists. Her invented moves changed the uneven bars to a more acrobatic style apparatus. Nadia Komunichi, however, did not have her greatest impact in the gymnastics world. She had her greatest impact on various communities and services in the real world. After her retirement from gymnastics, she served as honorary president of the Romanian Gymnastics Federation and acted as the honorary consul general of Romania to the United States in order to deal with bilateral relations between the two nations. Nadia Comaneci now openly expressed that she never forgets that she needs to share good fortune with others. She believes that funding programs, funding charities, and acting as a philanthropist and mentor is a blessing that she must share since she has the means. She has personally funded the construction and operation of the Nadia Comaneci Children's Clinic in Budapest. It provides low cost and free medical and social support for Romanian children. She has raised funds for aid related organizations, especially for those involving children. Comaneci is also involved with the Special Olympics and the Loris World Academy which helps elite gymnasts raise money for various causes around the world. She hosts the Jerry Lewis Telethon for the Muscular Dystrophy Association every year. She helps her husband, Bart, run the Bart Connor Gymnastics Academy and helps many gymnasts get athletic scholarships. Nadia, in her novel, Letters to a Young Gymnast, vocalizes, It is not the, for a claim of medals, and it is not for fame. It's because she wants to give back she has discovered that doing for others is much more fulfilling than standing alone on a podium while crowds cheer for individual accomplishments. Nadia Comaneci is one of the most impressive gymnasts to say the least, but she should not be known for just that. 
Nadia Comaneci should be known as a great person. She is selfless, kind, and generous. Her greatness is not limited, and her influence is exponential.